I should have my eBay account taken away from me really because then I would stop doing stupid things like this. This is a Volwerk Cobalt VR200. The updated Volwerk slash Nito Botvac that they do than my VR100 and this one is very fancy, very sophisticated, very nice brush roll. Does it work though? As you may know from my previous robot videos, we're not having much luck really and this one isn't much different. Ah, let's go for it. I'll show you what's wrong with it and we'll try a fix that came today, which is why we're doing this video now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this came a few days ago, I'll be honest, unboxed it, wasn't that much to unbox. Got it straight on charge, because you know, our previous shenanigans have informed us that Nito machines do suffer from issues, and we have what we pretty reliably know to be a working charger, and indeed, you put the machine on, and it will fire up. It will fire up. Come on. Fire up. <clears throat> there we go. And it'll even show a lovely battery charging any you know, animation there, but deep in the corner, you can't see it, so I'm not going to bother to redo everything now. We are not charging, and we have the same issue. If you press go, it can't clean because the battery is too low. If you put it off charge, it pretty much doesn't die straight. Yeah, well, it, it doesn't die straight away again, like the others, it takes a charge on its battery, but the software, bless it, will not let it see it. So it's a shame really because under here we have our bin and in our bin we have what is an early adoption of self-emptying because and I lie to you not the manual says this as well shut up the manual shows you've all worked tiger you put the hose in there and suck all the dirt out of the bin. Or obviously, if you're not rich enough to own a Vorwerk Tiger and a Vorwerk VR200, you can, of course, take the whole thing out. And we have a very nice, although tricky to get out, filter. Very clean and tidy. Very clean and tidy bin as well. And the whole thing sits in there very nicely indeed. Under here, we have a DC jack. But I can find zero information about it anywhere. There's not a lot of information on these anyway. And I don't quite want to go sticking 19 volts into it and just seeing what happens because that may not work too well. And under there is the USB port, which we will be coming back to shortly. Flipping this upside down is where things get interesting. Yes, Felix, it is, isn't it? But that's really far back and I cannot quite see how that is going to get all the way into the corners and the edges, you know, in the same way that my 100 does. So remains to be seen there, but we have a pretty worn out front brush there. And then in the usual way, this unclips and the base plate's in very good condition indeed, really. We can take the brush roll out, Phoenix, shush. And yeah, the brush roll is very nice indeed, very reminiscent of the VR200 that we had on the channel, not that I'll go. Very stiff brushes as well. The whole thing's pretty flipping good. It doesn't work. Now, one of the things that I can do with this machine is open up the My Vorwerk app. Let's just skip out of the time I tried this before. Because, yeah, on here, and we have to keep it on the dock, otherwise it won't work. If we go down to, I think it's settings... Wi-Fi setup and press OK. It will now make itself into 
a wireless hotspot in order for us to go onto the app and then find out that it says go to software update so if we click on that we get taken to support.volwork.com where it seems we have a firmware update to do. My reasoning behind wanting to do this firmware update is that A, it might completely reload the software and who knows, it might just fix our little battery symbol and work. B, if not, there might be more error messages in the app. The app might tell us more of what's going on. So we need to put some firmware onto this machine. Now this is where things get a little bit unsure because here I have a micro USB to USB A on the Go cable and on this pen drive is the zip file in its entirety that got downloaded by that software. You know, I've I have the extracted files. We might try and do that, but I don't know. It just downloads you a zip file straight away. So we'll see if the machine. Oh my goodness, this is fiddly. If the machine will work that out, or if we have to chuck the unzipped files on. Oh, there we go. Marvellous. Now, hopefully, we can go to settings, software update, update file not found. Try again. So, it doesn't like the zip file. <laughs> there are two files loose in the folder. Let's try those. Let's try just the two files that are loose in the unzipped folder. Gosh, that's annoying. Software update. Um, let's try FAT32 rather than NTFS. Ooh. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, I'll just press OK, and I don't know if it's now doing it, or if I shouldn't have pressed OK, and I'll just cancel it. Oh, brilliant. It is doing something. These front lights have just gone solid. Maybe they were flashing. Can I do it so we can see roughly both? Maybe. It's doing something. I guess we'll wait. It's gone back into hotspot mode, but we still don't have a charging symbol on our screen. That is a big shame. Let's see if we can get the app working at the very least. Okay, so it's on charge. It has its update. Let us show all models. VR200, latest robot software version. We've done this. Ooh. Ah, shush. Oh. I'm going to do this again. Oh my goodness. Okay. On this next screen, finally, after many software updates, it's still asking for the current version. Now, start to use your robots. 14%. It says it's charging, as in it knows it's connected to the power. But unfortunately, this is all we get. Battery is too low to do anything, so we can't press start. We can't, you know, really make a schedule. You can go into the menus, but you can't do anything. Spot cleaning, can't start that. So, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't get above 14%. So, it is still dead. Some time later, and unfortunately, it's still a no. I mean, he'll probably fire up and attempt life because yeah the battery has charge takes charge but like all of the other netos it doesn't think it's got a charge so i have a beautiful I mean, a little bit of fading but we could sort that if it was working beautiful clean in theory working fine it seems okay on the app but obviously won't do anything <sighs> another robot vacuum cleaner struck down by the chips 
within it. But hey ho, maybe it can be fixed. Maybe there is a way that we can have a crack on the cheap at getting it working. So stay tuned, subscribed and watching, ready for some more robot for work action. But until the next time, sorry it's been yet another failure, but I and more cobalt robot vacuums will see you soon. Oh my God, lots of them. What have I done? Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.